birthday cake for his birthday. Duh. Ooh. I almost broke something. It's Jay and today I'm here with a little bit of a different video than what I usually do. I am currently deep cleaning my room and if you guys have watched my channel before you know that I usually have like a Funko Pop wall behind me but as I said cleaning my room gonna be moving stuff around and I asked on Twitter if you guys would be interested in seeing like my full collection and a lot of people said yes so that's what we're here to do today I don't really have a plan for this right now I'm just kind of like surrounded by all of my Funkos I don't know if you can actually see probably like the tops of a couple of them but yeah I don't really have a plan for this video and how I'm organizing it. I'm just kind of going off of the top of my head and I guess I'll just show you what I have. So without further ado, let us get started. So most of my pops are Disney, Pixar, that kind of thing. I'm a huge fan of Disney so a lot of the things that I like are Disney characters so that's the majority of them but I also do have a couple of Harry Potter pops and a couple of like superhero, Marvel, DC that kind of thing so I guess I'm just gonna pull from beside me and we'll see where this takes us but first I'll start with all my Harry Potter Funko Pops because I know a lot of people are fan of Harry Potter. I have five Harry Potter Funko Pops. Honestly my Harry Potter ones are probably my favorites even though I haven't read the entire series, I just think that they're so cute. The first one that I do have is the Hagrid Harry Potter birthday cake one. I love this one. My boyfriend actually gave it to me. And Hagrid is one of my favorite characters. So when I opened this for Christmas, I freaked out. He also got me these like really pretty diamond earrings. I squealed more for Hagrid than I did for the earrings, so that shows where my personality is. Then I have Dobby, and I love it because he has a little sock in his hand, and I think that is like just an adorable little inclusion. And then I also have Hedwig, who is like literally just the owl Hedwig. There's not really any major thing that pops out to me. I just like Hedwig. And then my two favorite pops that I got from the Harry Potter line because I just have like this weird obsession with this character and I'm honestly not 100% sure why. I just love him so much. But I have Sirius Black as like human and I have Sirius Black in his dog form and I just love Sirius Black so much like I said. I actually had to go to Pop in a Box to get Sirius Black and I spent way too much money on him but I was like, you know what? Treat your shelf, girl. Treat your shelf. So I did. I guess now I'll talk about my thousand of Disney franchise Funko Pops. I have a lot in like the same line because I like to try to collect the lines of the pops. So the first one I'm going to talk about is my favorite Disney movie. It is The Lion King. So the first Lion King pop I'll show you is just like regular Simba. He's my favorite Disney character so obviously I need him on my shelf. I have a lot of Simbas just because I love him so much. And then I also have the I Can't Wait to Be King version of Simba as well as the Simba with his little grub during Hakuna Matata. And then I have like supporting characters from The Lion King. So I have Nala, I have Timon, but I have him as like the Lua version of Timon because I don't have an actual version of Timon, which I am bummed about, but it's in the vault. Also have Pumbaa Lua edition. Again, don't have the real Pumbaa because it's in the vault. And then I also have Zazu as well as Mufasa. I love Mufasa because his head is so giant and I don't really understand why. And then I also have Rafiki with Simba, obviously iconic, you know? The next three are from, again, one of my favorite Disney movies. It is Monsters, Inc. So I got... Roz. Roz is one of my favorite characters. I just think she is such a little snarky bitch and I love it so much. And then I also have Sully. Sully is my favorite character from Monsters Inc. I have like a Sully plush up there. But then I also have Boo because you can't have a Monsters Inc. collection without Boo. I really really want them to make a Randall pop but has not happened yet. Also want Mike Wazowski but also he's just really creepy looking so I don't know how I feel about it. The next two that I have are from like Alice in Wonderland. One is from like the live action movie and then one is from the cartoon. So I have Cheshire Cat. This is the cartoon version of him. I found that the live action version of him was really creepy so I was not here for it. And then I also got the Mad Hatter. I just love the Mad Hatter as a character. I think he's so like, not creepy, but just like quirky 
and like me, you know? The next two that I have are Peter Pan, the first one Peter Pan, the other one Tinkerbell. I really want a Captain Hook pop, but again, in the vault, don't have him. Really upset about it. The next line that I have are the Winnie the Pooh line. I have three from like the Winnie the Pooh line and then I have one from the Christopher Robin line. So the three from the Winnie the Pooh line are Eeyore who is my favorite character. I love him so much. And then I also have Heffalump and I have Rue. I really want a Tigger one but again in the vault. All the ones that I want are in the dang vault. And then from Christopher Robin I have Winnie the Pooh. They have a Tigger one for Christopher Robin but I find him super creepy so I'm like no, but I think Winnie the Pooh is the cutest one from that line at least. And then I have two from Cinderella, one's from the cartoon, one's from live action. Again, the first one is Cinderella is the cartoon one. I really love Cinderella, so you know your girl needed a pop of it. And then the live action, I have Gus Gus in his little glass slipper. Gus Gus is my favorite character from Cinderella, so I was super excited when they came out with this pop. And then on the theme of Disney princesses, I also have an Aurora. I actually got called Sleeping Beauty in university a lot because I was always sleeping in class because I would have early morning practices, so I'd always fall asleep in class. So that's what my professors called me. I know, it's not the best nickname. To have but here we are and then I also have a mini Maleficent to go with my little Aurora but I want a full-size Maleficent but I'm pretty sure it's also in the vault so that's probably not gonna happen also topic of Disney princesses I have a mini Ariel I have never found a full-size Ariel which is really annoying because I just want to collect all the Disney princesses and then still on the topic of Disney princesses I have a lot from the Beauty and the Beast line I have six from that line so the first one I have is from like the live-action movie and it's Belle in her celebration dress I got this from my ex-boyfriend so honestly it's just here because you know, I like Funko Pops, but bad memories. And then I also have the complete Series 6 for the Beauty and the Beast Disney line. So I have Peasant Belle. I love this one so much. Uh, this is like my favorite Belle that you can ever get. So I was super excited when I found it. And then I also have the like furniture for that line. So I have Cogsworth. I have Chip and Mrs. Potts, which I love so much. Chip was my favorite character when I watched the movie for like the first time when I was little. I loved him so much, so super excited about that one. And then I also have Lumiere. I love Lumiere as well. Didn't get any of his jokes until I was older, and now he's just a grand old time. And then I also have Gaston, who is such an asshole, but love him regardless. And then still on the topic of Disney princesses, I have a couple from the Snow White line. So I have Snow White, obviously you can't have the line without the Disney princess. I really like Snow White because she has her little like bluebird in her hand and I think that's like super cute. And then I also have the witch who I also love because she has the poison apple. I think that was a super cool touch for that one. Also she's just like so ugly and gross and I love it. And then I have my two favorite dwarves from that movie. I have a grumpy and I have dopey who my mom likes to say are my two personalities so you know we needed both of them. And then I guess still on the topic of Disney princesses without the princess because I haven't been able to find the original one so I don't want the like peasant version of her. So I have five from the Aladdin line. The first two are from like the actual Aladdin cartoon line. So I have Aladdin and I also have Raja. Like I said, want a Princess Jasmine, just have not been able to find her yet. And then from the live action version of Aladdin, I have Prince Ali. I also have Genie with the lamp because I was never able to find Genie when it was originally came out. Pretty sure it's in the vault now, so got him. And then also have Iago, who is Jafar's parrot, who is one of my favorite characters because he's just so sassy. So super excited when they came out with this pop. And then I have three from the Emperor's New Groove line. I have Kronk, who I think is hilarious because again, his head is so big and I don't understand why, but I guess in the movie his head was pretty big, but love him. Also have Yzma because you cannot have an Emperor's New Groove collection without Yzma. She's iconic. I also love Yzma because it has the little like potion that she uses to poison Cusco and I just think it's hilarious. 
And then I also obviously have Cusco. I don't like the pop where he's like the actual emperor and also I just hated him as the emperor. I liked him when he was a llama so had to get llama version. And then I have two different stitches. They're not from the same line but I just love stitch so much so if I can collect all the stitches I will. I have the regular Stitch and then I also have the Valentine's Day version of Stitch who I think is like the cutest thing ever. He has a little heart that says be mine with his little paw print and it's just oh, adorable. And then I also have two from The Incredibles. I have Jack-Jack who is my favorite character ever from that movie. I think he is the funniest thing in the entire world. And then I also have a Frozone which the box is broken so bitter. But I also really like Frozone as a character. I think he's super funny, so. And then I have two from the Inside Out movie, my two favorite characters from that. So I have Sadness. And then I also have Bing Bong because who doesn't love Bing Bong? He's so precious. And then I have two Minions because I used to be obsessed with Minions. I thought they were the funniest, cutest things in the entire world. So I have King Bob. And then I also have a fire alarm minion because Bob is my favorite minion and then the fire alarm minion just makes me laugh so much because I just think he's so funny when he's like wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo, and never shuts up because my personality. And then the final like series that I have from Disney are two from the Hocus Pocus line. I have Winifred and I have Mary. I was super mad that I couldn't find Sarah because Sarah's my favorite. We're getting on with our lives. Hopefully I can find her next Halloween but apparently she's the most popular one because she's everybody's favorite because she's hilarious. And then I have a couple of Disney ones that aren't like part of a series that I collected. They're just individual characters that I really like. So the first one I have is Marie. I honestly don't think that they made any of the other aristocrats in a Funko Pop. I could be very wrong, but I love Marie. I think she's so sassy and adorable. I also have Hades from Hercules. Again, his head is so big and I think it's hilarious, but Hades is one of my favorite villains just because of how sassy he is. I think he is so iconic. And then one of my favorite Disney characters of all time is Jack Sparrow. So needed a Jack Sparrow. I think this was one of the first ever Funko Pops that I got and then I became obsessed with them as you can tell. And then I also have Heimlich from The Bug's Life. I love his character. He is just so funny and when he's like one day I'll be a beautiful butterfly I say that all the time so needed him on my shelf so that I could commemorate my good times of being an ugly little larva and then becoming a beautiful butterfly. Then I have Olaf with kittens because the regular Olaf was super creepy and I hated him, but this one adds cuteness with kittens, so it's okay. I love Olaf as a character, but the original Olaf that they created creeped me out so much and I thought he was like really gross looking. So then they came out with this one and he has kittens so adds to the cuteness factor so we picked him up. And then the final one that I have isn't a Disney character but he's like by himself. I didn't get any of the rest of the line but it is Buddy the Elf and I love this movie. Honestly I think it's a classic Christmas movie. I don't care what anybody says. It's going down in history. And he has a little bottle of maple syrup which I think is the cutest thing ever. Then I have two Riverdale pops of my two favorite characters. I have Jughead Jones and then my favorite character of all time on that show is Cheryl Blossom. I think she is so sassy and iconic and I just love her character so dang much so I needed both of them on my shelf obviously. And then the final four Funko Pops that I have are all like superheroes. My favorite superhero is Batman so obviously needed a Batman on my shelf. And then I also have Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy. I just think he's like super cute and my ex-boyfriend got me him because it was was a huge thing and we don't need to get into that but he got me Groot so he still is on the shelf. And then I also have a big version of Harley Quinn and a little version of Harley Quinn because she's my favorite. I love her. I want more of her and I'm super excited for the movie coming out eventually whenever it does but and then I also have like this little figurine that's also considered Funko but I like the actual Funko boxes better. Alright guys, so those are all of my Funko Pops as of March 2019. I'm sure in like a couple of days I'll have more, so maybe I'll do an updated version of this video at some point. I'm sorry if the lighting is super weird because usually it's blocked out because of my Funko wall, but I had to take them all down. So. Let me know down below what your favorite Funko Pop is that you own or that you want. Let me know some that you think I should get. I'll look into it. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!